Hello friends, I'm Commander Atul Kumar Rohatgi speaking to you and I'm speaking on behalf of Israel Institute of Excellence. Today I'm going to talk about viewpoint and this talk is part of a series that we have started. The broad name of the series is SVAC Talks and in this there, there, there are sub-series and this one is psychometry and in this psychometry series this is the sixth one. I hope you have heard, you have seen the first five uh, talks which were on different psychrometric parameters. Dew point is also a psychrometric parameter and about this we are going to talk today. Dew point is defined as the temperature at which the air gets saturated with water vapor. At, uh, if we start with any sample of air and if we start cooling it very slowly, the temperature gets reduced without any change in its absolute humidity. That means moisture does not come out, dehumidification does not take place. And in this process, when the temperature is being reduced without dehumidification, the RH keeps on increasing. And then at one stage, the RH becomes 100%. Any further cooling will, will lead to uh, condensation. Now, how it is important, why it is important? You must have seen dew point, uh, the effect of dew point in a cricket match, which is day, played day, day and night. In the daytime, it's all okay. The ball is uh, dry and the ground is also dry. But as evening progresses, the temperature of the whole sky atmosphere that keeps on reducing. Moisture just remains there. Dehumidification is not taking place. And then a stage comes at maybe at around any time after seven o'clock when the air gets saturated with water vapor. And at this stage, after this, dew starts forming. The ball starts get, uh, getting wet. The grass starts getting wet and it becomes difficult to play. It becomes difficult to hold a ball. It becomes difficult to do the fielding. So that is the time that is the dew point is achieved and that is the effect of a temperature below the dew point. Now, in case if there is any object inside the room, which is at a lower temperature, temperature lower than the dew point, then condensation will start. It could be a duct, it could be a pipe, it could be a duct carrying air, it could be a pipe carrying uh, water. And in case if it is passing through a room, and if the temperature of items inside, material inside, fluids inside, is less than the dew point. And now I'm not talking about just the inside temperature, I'm talking about the outside surface temperature. In case of the outside surface temperature is less than the dew point, condensation will take place. And that is why uh, we have, it becomes necessary to have insulation around those pipes so that, so that, or so, uh, those ducts, so that the outer surface temperature is higher than the dew point. When we supply chill water to any uh, convective uh, cooling appliance or radiant cooling appliance, it is always supplied at a temperature above the dew point so that formation of dew or condensation problem does not take place inside the room. Dew point being temperature, it can be measured in degree centigrade or it can be measured in degree, uh, degrees Fahrenheit and they can be converted from one to another. Now let's talk about the psychrometric chart and where do we find the scale for this. Now these horizontal lines that you can see, these horizontal lines are constant dew point lines that means on in any one of them anyone if we move from left to right or right to left at all those points the dew point will be the same we have talked about horizontal lines in case of absolute humidity also so that's right the horizontal lines are constant dew point lines as well as they are also constant absolute humidity lines. So that means at any point on any one of them, let's say that we are talking about the top one, top line, at all those points which are making this line, the dew point as well as the absolute humidity will remain constant. 
Similarly, on this, at all these points, the dew point and the absolute humidity will remain constant. The absolute humidity is read on the y-axis and dew point is read on this axis, which is on the saturation line. This line, which is, which is the saturation line, that is the scale of dew point. Now, we were talking about this scale in case of wet bulb temperature also. And there also I said, because the scale remains the same, the position of the scale remains the same. This curved line, the saturation line is the scale for wet bulb temperature. It is also the scale for dry uh, dew point temperature. And on this reading at times becomes difficult because the separations are not uniform. So if we, we are at any point and we are finding it difficult to read, what is the dew point temperature? What we need to do is that we should draw a line that is vertical which is perpendicular to the x-axis, parallel to the y-axis. And then we read uh, the value on the x-axis and we will get the correct dew point. Now talking about if we have a point, how do we get to know what is the dew point? So let's say this red, red dot which, which we have, this is a point and we want to read what is the dew point. So what we need to do is that we have to draw a line that is horizontal starting with, because horizontal lines are constant dew point lines. So we have to draw a line that is horizontal and at the point of intersection we have to read what is the temperature and that becomes the, that is the dew point. What we need to do is we draw a line like this at this point of intersection we have to read the dew point and <clears throat> This is between 19 and 20 degrees centigrade. Thank you for watching this and uh, my contact numbers are given uh, below. You can join us to study more about H3AC. We have run several courses for fresh engineers. We also run courses for uh, professionals who already have some amount of experience for, so that they could build their knowledge so, so, so that they could build their skills and prosper in their career. We are present on YouTube through which I am re reaching you. We are also present on uh, LinkedIn. We are present on Facebook and we have a website. You can reach us through any one of them. Thank you very much and it was nice getting connected with you all. We will continue with our technical presentations like this. Thank you.